Whether you're heading out to the water, soaring into the air, or if you'd prefer to stay on the ground, one of these vehicles will prove to be a blast. This is Glenn, and today we've got 15 crazy cool land, air, and sea vehicles for you. Number 15. The king of dwarf cars, Ernie Adams, loved the original 49 Mercury so much, he decided to build his own from scratch. The car, made famous originally by James Dean in his movie Rebel Without a Cause, soon became a household name. Adams made his first dwarf car in 1965 out of the metal from nine different refrigerators cut into pieces and has worked to improve his craft from that day on. Named Rebel Rouser, it took just over five years to build this dwarf car that looks like it came straight off a miniature factory line. Powered by a 1290cc Toyota motor and a Toyota drivetrain, this car can easily cruise at highway speeds and tops out at around 100 miles per hour. Everything except the mirrors and spotlights were hand-tooled by Adams with the utmost care. Everything on this car looks exactly like the original full-size version. Since this was all handmade, you won't find one on any showroom floor. But if he made one, you can too. Number 14. Patriot Campers took a GXL Toyota Land Cruiser dual cab, which, let's be honest, is a pretty nice vehicle by itself, and made it into the king of the off-road jungle. The LC79 features almost a whole foot of extended chassis, ROH wheels with Mickey Thompson tires, a suspension upgrade to 3,800 kilograms, TJM bar work, a front and rear winch, water tank and electric pump, a HEMA HN7 navigation module, and a GME UHF radio. And we haven't even gotten to all the extras yet. You can have one of these built to your specifications, and boy are there a lot of options. Extras include two X-Ray 220 HID lights and a 1200 millimeter quad optic light bar, an ARB twin compressor kit, a programmable pedal torque controller, J-Max coil conversion kit, a Rhino Pioneer roof platform, a mini canopy that includes a storage drawer, camp chair storage, a fridge, a dog crate tray built in, and a James Broad Evo tent. You could basically live in this thing. With the power behind the vehicle and all the extras you can get, there is no stopping you on an adventure with this thing. Pricing for the LC79 Super Tourer starts out at $125,000. Number 13. Sometimes described as a jet ski with wings, the Icon A5 is a stunning example of versatility. With actual landing gear and sea wing platforms, you have a landing pad on the ground as well as in the water. The versatility doesn't stop there either. The wings fold up and the aircraft can be easily transported by a car pulled trailer. The Icon A5 comes with a Rotax 912 IS sport engine, supplying 100 horsepower to the aircraft. The A5 was made with a spin-resistant airframe, making it safer for a new pilot. Due to the engineering of the aircraft, in the case of a stall, the body resists spinning while maintaining manual control and descending at a safe rate. With room for two inside the cockpit, this aircraft makes the perfect vacation vehicle. It comes with quite a few little extras as well. There are storage compartments placed inside the C-Wing platforms, as well as advanced running lights for maximum visibility. It even comes with a parachute system if the unthinkable happens. The A5 pricing starts at around $200,000. Number 12. Fishing trip during the day? No problem. Fishing trip at night? No problem. On the water camping? No problem. Boat party all day and all night? No problem. The Formula 430 All Sports Crossover is the envy of all watercraft because of its versatility. I mean, this thing has 32 cup holders. That's just amazing. Equipped with four Mercury 300 Verado outboard motors with the option to upgrade them to the 350 or 400 models, this boat will get you where you need to go with speed and style. The 430 ASC has a state-of-the-art navigation system built into the cockpit. It comes with full cabin accommodations, which are usually only included in closed bow vessels. It has two kitchens, one in the cabin 
and one under the canopy of the boat. For all the fishing fanatics, it comes with a pressurized live bait tank, a prep station for freshly caught fish, built-in storage for all your fishing tackle, and a 75-gallon fish box under the portside seat with refrigerator and freezer coils to keep the day's catch nice and cool. Pricing for this starts out at a cool $1 million. Number 11. The Aero X is a next-generation idea for mobility. Using tandem ducted fans, it can achieve a max height of about 12 feet off of the ground. The fan blades are also enclosed in a shroud for added safety. The Aero X is about 15 feet long and about 7 feet wide and has the ability to carry two passengers. A naturally aspirated three-rotor rotary engine powers the fixed-pitch carbon fiber fans and runs off automotive-grade fuel. The entire vehicle is made from carbon fiber, fiberglass composite, and Kevlar to ensure safety and strength. The design of the Aero X allows it to be piloted similarly to driving a motorbike. This allows for the movements to be intuitive while piloting a vehicle in three dimensions. Optimized for rugged environments like farms, ranches, and underdeveloped regions with no roads, dirt and debris are not an issue for the fan blades or the motor. Due to the three-dimensional operating area, it's not recommended for mountainous regions or anywhere the altitude changes quickly. Pre-orders are available now, and the price is expected to be around $85,000. Number 10. This ultra-minimalistic helicopter is one of the lightest manned helicopters out there. Measuring just over 20 feet long, the Mosquito Air delivers performance, reliability, and ease of flight. The Mosquito is made up of aircraft-grade aluminum to maximize weight savings without reducing strength or safety. The entire engine package only weighs 70 pounds, increasing the weight savings even further. The main rotor is controlled from a floor-mounted joystick and a control mixer. The tail rotor is controlled by foot pedals. The compact 64 horsepower engine allows the Mosquito to hit max speeds of up to 70 miles an hour while consuming 5 gallons of fuel each hour. The maximum range is 60 miles and its normal cruising speed is 55 miles an hour. While flying is normally an expensive hobby, the Mosquito makes it a little cheaper, costing only $20,000. Number 9. While this one looks more suited for a post-apocalyptic wasteland than your city streets, the Devel 60 is a force to be reckoned with. Produced by the same company that made a 5,000 horsepower supercar, its pedigree speaks for itself. With a 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8, the Devel 60 pumps out a whopping 700 horsepower and goes zero to 60 in 5.8 seconds. It has full six wheel drive and independent suspension. The tires are all on military rims, and the vehicle has seating for up to six. The Devel 60 comes standard with height-adjustable suspension, two inches for the front and back, front and rear cameras, a night vision display on the front and rear, and custom interior and exterior color options. The most beneficial feature of the car is that everyone on the road will get right out of your way. Pricing on this one starts out at $450,000. Number 8. The Rokon Trailbreaker has been around since the 60s and has been making waves ever since. The world's original and longest producing manufacturer of all-wheel drive motorcycles, Rokon has been delivering performance for longer than some of their riders have been alive. The Trailbreaker has unmatched versatility for work or recreational activities due to its lightweight design, wide tires for any terrain, and a high ground clearance for driving over obstacles. The Trail Breaker delivers sure-footed traction with the tires and plenty of pulling power thanks to the all-wheel drive system. Superior torque from the all-wheel drive system allows the Trail Breaker to tow up to 2,000 pounds. A little 208cc engine pushing 7 horsepower allows the motorcycle to travel up to 35 miles an hour. Price tag on this one is a modest 8,000. Number 7. Innovators at the NASA Johnson Space Center in collaboration with an automotive partner have developed the Modular Robotic Vehicle, 
or MRV for short. The vehicle is completely electric and has no mechanical connections to the propulsion, steering, or brake systems. Instead, the driver relies on control inputs being converted to electrical signals and transmitted by wire to the motors in the vehicle. The MRV is driven by four independent wheel modules called E-corners. Each wheel can be rotated 180 degrees on its steering axis. You could literally drive 100% sideways and parallel park your car downtown. The MRV was made to learn about and develop new technologies that could be applied to future rover expeditions. While those technologies will be applied to future rovers, for now, we get to reap the benefits of those new technologies in the MRV. While the MRV won't be for sale anytime soon, you could license the technology used in the MRV and create your very own. Number six. The Sea Breacher is the adrenaline junkie's best friend out on the water. With its design similar to a crazy mashup of a fish and a fighter jet, the looks won't be the only thing that grabs your attention. Semi-submersible, the Sea Breacher is capable of diving down under the surface of the water and rapidly rising upward, breaching through the surface. The clear acrylic canopy allows the pilot and passenger a clear view of everything above and around them. A second underwater viewport gives you vision of everything underneath you as well. Unlike conventional watercraft, the Sea Breacher operates more like an aircraft with control over pitch, roll, and yaw. This allows the vessel to carve left and right, jump over or dive under waves, and even do barrel rolls on the water. The Sea Breacher was designed with self-riding weight distribution. The wing and engine weight is all located low in the vessel, so even if you find yourself upside down, you'll quickly roll around to right side up. Pricing on this one starts out at around $80,000. Number five. If you happen to be planning an expedition to the Arctic Circle, you might want to bring this tank of a vehicle with you. The Arctos evacuation craft was originally made for offshore oil rigs in the Arctic in case anything ever went wrong, but it has since been used in many different rescue fashions. The Arctos evacuation craft can carry over 50 passengers on board and can traverse many different types of terrain. The craft gave up wheels for a track system, not only to increase mobility, but also to increase passenger seating by eliminating all the extra components that come with a standard drivetrain. Each track is powered by its own 260 horsepower Cummins diesel engine. On land, the engines are linked through hydraulic motors and propel the Arctos at speeds up to 10 miles an hour. While in the water, the vessel operates more like a jet ski, using a water jet combined with a 360-degree steerable nozzle. It propels the craft at speeds up to 6 knots. The tracks, which are covered in spikes, allow the Arctos to traverse any type of icy terrain and climb 34-degree inclines. The price tag on this one is getting up there, around $3 million. Number 4. It's sleek, it's futuristic, and it flies. The Black Fly is another breakthrough innovation in personal flight. The future is now, and with enough luck, flying vehicles will be everyone's mode of transportation. Being all electric, the Black Fly causes no emissions during use. Not only that, but it comes with a vertical takeoff and landing system so you can get up in the air and back down on the ground even with limited space to maneuver. It also has cruise control if you'd rather stare out the window and just enjoy the ride. It has a takeoff and landing assist system, and if you're feeling really fancy, it has a return to home feature where it will take you home and land itself. The Black Fly is controlled by an intuitive joystick system and multiple helpers for the uneasy pilot. It achieves lift with eight propellers mounted on the front and back wings. It comes standard with a ballistic parachute should the need to bail out arise and a low-power glide mode, so hopefully you won't have to bail. Pricing has not been released on this plane, but they say it will be comparable to the price of a new SUV. Number three. During a time when aerodynamic knowledge was still new and the Art Deco style was everywhere, Orly Ray Courtney took a 1930 Henderson Streamline model KJ motorcycle and designed and handcrafted an aerodynamic shell that encased the entire motorcycle. The upgrades he made to the motorcycle didn't stop just at the stunning design. 
It featured 10-inch wheels and high-profile balloon tires sourced from the aircraft industry to give it a silky smooth ride. The modified chassis included hydraulic brakes and a modified Henderson KJ fork in front and a modern rear independent suspension. It has a car-like dashboard, a large headlamp that moved with the steering, and a raked back screen that deflected air onto the rider's chest. This one-of-a-kind motorcycle would be extremely hard to get a hold of since it spends most of its time at the Northeast Classic Car Museum in Norwich, New York. Number 2 Though it may look like Jawas are about to jump out and start scavenging for parts, this is no sand crawler. It's the JL421 Badonka Donk, or just Donk for short. This thing is built like a tank, and it's definitely not street legal in most states. But then again, who's going to stop this tiny tank? The Donk is a one-of-a-kind armored Land Cruiser recreational tank. It can transport up to five people internally or on the roof. It can be piloted from the inside or from an exposed standing position through the hatch. It comes with a 1,000-watt sound system, so everyone can hear your mobile tank party a mile before they see you. And of course, it has a pyrotechnic effect system with optional rocket pods. The outside of the vehicle is covered in light armor steel, providing you with ample protection from stray blaster fire. Lucky for you, there's no need for deep space travel to Tatooine for one of these. They can be found on Amazon, starting at $20,000. Before we show you our number one pick, don't forget to comment down below and let us know which one of these vehicles will jumpstart your next adventure. Number one. This jet-powered glider built for one has to be one of the most stylish ways to get around. With a jet engine powering the glider from takeoff, after adequate altitude is achieved, the engine is turned off and it can be flown as an unpowered glider. It's only 7 feet long, but has a wingspan of 32 feet. You pilot the glider from a prone position at the center. Turning is as simple as shifting your weight and using a few handles to control the rudder. Underneath where you lay, there's a jet engine, with considerable separation from the walls of the engine pod in order to permit better cooling and prevent excessive fire risk. Most of the glider is made from fiber-reinforced plastic with a wooden skeleton, making the thing rather light, weighing only 150 pounds. The glider can reach speeds up to 75 miles an hour, but has a passenger weight limit around 110 pounds. Unfortunately for us, there are no plans for this glider to be mass-produced, nor will the blueprints be freely available due to the safety risk associated with inexperienced pilots. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.